Yet another day of NHL people calling out other NHL people. Yesterday, we saw ourselves a game between the Colorado Avalanche and the Chicago Blackhawks, one wherein the Blackhawks won 3-2. to Take a look at the NHL standings, and we will see that the Colorado Avalanche are 19, 11, and 2, 40 points in 32 games played. They're tied for first in the Central. They have a pretty good record, all things considered, but they have been losing a bunch of games recently. They're 4, 5, and 1 in their last 10. You could debate that with the way this team is assembled, the talent they have on the roster, a 40-point season in 32 games played 19-11-2 might be seen as underwhelming. This is a team that should be, in theory, a Stanley Cup championship caliber team. So what's going on here? Where they're losing games to Chicago, they're not playing as well as they could be. If you look at what Colorado fans are saying, they're all saying similar things. Hey, this team is not as good as they should be on paper. What's going on? Ryan Donato scored to open things up, assisted by Zaitsev and Bedard. He then had two power play goals by Valerie Nachushkin to get the game back in Colorado's favor. Lucas Reichel, assisted by Bedard and Donato, ends up getting the tying goal. So there you go, Bedard and Donato each with two points to start things out. And then Nikita Zaitsev to Felino. Tyler Johnson gets the power play goal in the third to seal the deal and give Chicago the dub. After the game, you had yourself some comments made by Devon Taves as to what exactly his thought process is in regards to the team and their performance. Take a look at this. I think we've got some guys who think they're playing well, and I think they're kidding themselves at this point. In fact, the video clip of this quote is also on Twitter. It's on Guerrilla Sports. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go ahead and listen to this yourself. But the extended quote goes out there and says even more. It's frustrating to play out there when you've got guys that think they're playing well and they're doing things that, you know, you have no idea what play they're going to make. Devon Taves is calling out players on the Colorado Avalanche for not playing well, for making unpredictable plays, and for making plays that they themselves think are alright, but just aren't. They're kidding themselves at this point, Devon Taves says. Now those, of course, are some very harsh comments from a guy who has been one of the more underrated but still talented players on the Colorado Avalanche roster. If you go over to Devon Taves and you take a look at his overall track record this year he's at 16 points in 32 games played on pace for about half a point a game on the season which is definitely not bad especially for a guy making 4.1 million dollars a year till the end of 2031 but he was a former 50 point guy in 80 games last year the year they won the cup 57 points in 66 games played that is an incredible point production metric Devon Taves has been a very good player, and as a result, you could say that he, of all people, has the right to call out his team in this way, saying, yeah, I mean, we have some guys who think they're playing well, but they're kidding themselves at this point. These players have no idea what they're doing, and I have no idea what play they're going to make. Now, who knows what has been said behind closed doors, what the Colorado Avalanche locker room has heard, if Devon Taves has spoken up about things like this in the room before talking to the media about it. If you want to see who on the Colorado Avalanche has been quote-unquote underperforming, we could take a look right here at the point production. Ross Colton, 15 points in 32 games. Drew Ann has 13 points. Johansson has 12. Miles Wood has 11 in 32. Bowen Byram only has 10 points in 32 games played. There are some other guys here that we can talk about, but what I wanted to do to help us out, to talk more so about which players could be the ones that are getting called out by Devon Taves, we had ourselves a post made on the Colorado Avalanche sub. Take a look at this. It's the post made on this Gorilla Sports comment. I think we've got some guys who think they're playing well and they're kidding themselves at this point. Just as I was about to whine that Bednar doesn't seem to be calling the team out as much as he should, we'll leave it to Devon Taves. I mean, he's absolutely right. I just wonder who he's thinking of specifically. Number one reply says, well, we could at least be sure he's not talking about Andrew Cogliano, Kale McCarr, Arturi Lekkinen, or Samuel Gerrard. So, 
Those are four guys right here. Andrew Cogliano, he's a blitz player. He speeds around like crazy, one of the fastest guys in the game. Kale McCarr, workhorse. He is such a talented athlete, and I think everybody has come into their own into acknowledging how good McCarr is the past few years. Samuel Girard is like Kale McCarr light. He tries to do some of the similar things. He's just not as talented, but he's still pretty good. Arturi Lekkonen, very capable, very solid two-way player who has a very good motor. So... Avalanche fans are saying, yeah, he's not talking about these four. But of course, the biggest thing about these players, Cogliano, Makar, Lekkonen, or Gerard, they're not playing. They're not in the lineup, they're out. So they automatically get the pass, even though these are all guys that have play styles that I think are very much admirable and you would want to have on your team. Things that you would be difficult to go out there and accuse of being poorly played. Rontanen and Ryan Johansson would be the first two that Devon Taves is calling out, as is Bowen Byram, fans of the Avalanche are saying. Now, Rontanen has 40 points in 32 games played this year. You wouldn't say on paper that is a bad season. In fact, it's a very good one, over a point per game by far. As for the other names that are mentioned here, Ryan Johansson, as we had talked about, only has 12 points in 32 games played this season. Bowen Byram only has 10 points in 32 games. Let's read what some of the Avalanche fans have to say about this. Bowen Byram is playing like poop for sure. Mistake after mistake. Same with Moose. His attitude seems blank poor and he feels he's owed something. Ryan Johansson isn't playing poorly per se. He's putting up solid points, but he isn't meshing with his line. I think with this, time will improve. Now, a rebuttal says, Ryan Johansson literally let a dude skate right past him at the blue line last night while he stood there doing nothing. Didn't even make an effort to slow him down. The guy looks like ass in our system. Now, when it comes to some of the other things, this is what Polymorph 505 says about Rantanen. The Rantanen curse is real. He fails the eye test so hard that people say things like this. Rantanen is great, like always. 40 points, 32 games played, plus 5, positive turnover ratio, crushing the league like he always does. Ryan Johansson, though, is on pace for 20 goals, something he's only done three times. Bowen Byram has been complete ass. How is this not even on your list when elite players like Rantanen are? So there is a rebuttal that goes out there and asks whether or not players like Rantanen or Ryan Johansson are actually worth getting put in this conversation, because for Ryan Johansson, I mean, 12 points in 32 games played is not the worst thing in the world, but he's got 10 goals, which is pretty good when you think about it like that. And of course, Rantanen having the points that he has, I mean, there's a lot to be valued there in his overall game. So even though there are some that are going out there and suggesting that Rantanen or Ryan Johansson could be here, I mean, here's another one. Those are the first two names that came to my mind as well. But I mean, it's interesting seeing that there are a whole bunch of guys that are getting tossed out there as potential names that could have been called out by Devon Taves in this way. Jack Johnson, I mean, he's not wrong. I've been waiting for this team to find its identity, but it's not coming together. They were sending passes to nowhere, running into each other all night against Chicago. No good plays or scoring chances set up, just kind of frantic and hoping for the best. Everything Taser says in the clip is pretty damning, and it speaks volumes about the team discipline and cohesion. It also matches what we're seeing on the ice game after game. I can't imagine our locker room being a pretty good environment right now. We really need to start fixing things before this becomes a more than a late year slump, but six people represent a non-trivial problem. About the transition in general, people can point their fingers all they want at goaltending, but gosh darn it, defense has just been subpar with sloppy-ass turnovers. I miss Gerard and Lekkonen so much right now. So when it comes to the Colorado Avalanche, this is a very intriguing team with an intriguing story about its play being examined. We've got guys calling each other out. Devon Taves saying that some of these players have not really been stepping up to the plate, even though they may think they have been. We're not naming names specifically, but there are some guys that have been tossed around there. Some are saying Rantanen, some are saying Ryan Johansson, some are saying Bowen Byram, some are saying Jack Johnson down here at the bottom with the six points in 32 games that he's got. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you are a Colorado Avalanche fan, who are these comments directed at? Who is Devon Taves calling out? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And... Bye.